a little bit about, about my background. I um, have been a vegan chef and an owner of my own restaurant for uh, about 14 years now. And um, I own it with my husband. It's in uh, downtown Inglewood, California. It's been uh, just a pure and total joy to be able to share uh, a clean uh, a menu, if you will, with so many people. And it's become such a go-to uh, restaurant in, in Inglewood, California. And for those of you who have never heard of my restaurant, it's called Stuff I Eat, and we're located in beautiful downtown Inglewood, California. The address is 114 North Market Street. And um, it's just, like I said, it's been such a joy, it's been such an inspiration to be able to prepare uh, clean, healthy, um, plant-based food for the masses and, and, and to especially to have people enjoy uh, the food that you, you prepare. Um, I've uh, done this for now, it's been probably about 18, 19 years. I'm 66 years old and um, just enjoy at the just at the top of um, my life right now. I just couldn't be happier. I'm on no medication. Uh, I'm still working out. I'm just enjoying life, and I I really do owe it all to my lifestyle, which is I am a proud vegan, and um, I wish everybody could join me on this journey. Well, actually, um, it's just food. We're talking about food. And what you really want to do is you want to, you want to, what, what I did was I was given information. And it's, it's lovely to be informed as to why you're doing something, why you're transitioning. My uh, husband shared um, a couple of books with me, one being Fit for Life by Harvey and Marilyn Diamond. I read both uh, volumes of that book and then the uh, Mucusless Healing System by Professor Arnold Errett. Those two books, quite frankly, changed my life. Um, so my, my advice, educate yourself somewhat. Know why you're doing what you're doing and the sole purpose of it. I became a strong believer that um, all of the issues that I had previously were because of my lifestyle. I was, I suffered with asthma, I had eczema, um, and just a lot of really horrible, horrible um, digestive issues, brain fog, and bloating. It was just, just a mess. And so after I became uh, conscientious and started playing around with the food, and I stayed, I kind of hung out in the kitchen because after I got my first vegan meal, I was so inspired, I thought, that was pretty darn good. So what I wanted to do was, I wanted to mimic food that I was used to eating, but omit all the crap. And I just kind of played with it and played with it, and here I am today. So basically, educate yourself. I think that's important for any of us. Whenever you're gonna make a transition, you wanna stick with it, you educate yourself. And there's there's so much information out there right now. You can Google almost anything. And if you really want to change, you'll be able to make the change. And it's just food. It's just food. All you're doing is omitting animal products and their byproducts. You want to omit refined sugar. You want to omit the dyes and all of the preservatives, those things that can, quite frankly, make you sick. And just to go to a nice, clean, uh, plant-based meal and, and get down and enjoy your life. So that's my advice. First of all, attitude. Yeah, have a good attitude. And um, I start my day off with um, a nice, strong, green drink. Uh, I work really hard in the restaurant. I'm up between two and three every morning. And I am busy. So I like to get as much nutrition as I possibly can uh, first thing in the morning. And it kind of carries me a long way. When it comes to uh, the total energy, I'm still working out at 66. I'm still doing push-ups. I'm still running heels. I'm doing whatever it is I'd like to do. Um, and 
plus I enjoy it. I can't even imagine not moving, I really cannot. And I know that so many of us, we reach a certain age and we go and we sit down. I don't wanna sit down, I don't wanna sit down. I'm not, I'm not so concerned about not being here because longevity has its place. But you know that a quality, a good quality of life is more important than how long you live. Because you could live to be 100 and lay in flat on your back. That's not, that's not a goal for me. So yes, it's, it's making sure that I get enough life into my system. And when I say life, I'm talking about don't eat cooked. And when you cook your food to temperatures over 115 degrees Fahrenheit, you kill the life in it, the live enzymes. That's what you need. So I make sure that I maintain a high level of raw food uh, consumption in my daily life. And I suggest that for anybody. Uh, that's how you get your energy. That's how you maintain it. I want people to win in this, and and I I understand it. I'm I'm kind of I'm one of those people. I get bored real quick, so I like the meals to be simple, and I don't need for them to be too foo foo or costly. I'm I'm going to give you a little secret. I pretty much can use some of the same ingredients in my restaurant and make tons of different dishes. That keeps it economical. You understand what I'm saying? So say for instance, if I'm making a spaghetti, I might make a spaghetti using zucchini and red onion, and then I might decide to make a bowl of chili using zucchini and red onion, and maybe a similar red sauce, but I just put different spices in it. You, you know, if I want that chili chilled, I make it raw first, if I want it warm, I boil some red beans and put some beans in there and I make it a hot chili. So <laughs> you just have to be creative and you take recipes and play with them. Make them simple and fun and easy. The best thing for me, like in the restaurant, we, we have a, a menu that on, that, on, our, on our menu, we have rice, beans, and tofu. And we have so many different dishes that we make with rice, beans, and tofu. But we give them different names. And pe people come in and they have their favorites. Um, enchilada pie. Uh, we serve rice beans with enchilada pie. Uh, the quesadillas. We have a Kilimanjaro quesadilla. We serve rice beans and tofu with the Kilimanjaro quesadilla. We have a lava burrito. Rice beans and tofu with the lava burrito. So if, I, if I'm making any sense here, keep it simple. Don't stress out about it. It's not that big a deal. So um, yeah, you just play, get in the kitchen and, and don't try to go and over shop and get too far out. Make it simple. Casseroles are great too. They're really, really great because you can, you can mix and match uh, flavors and find yourself some vegan cheeses and sprinkle cheese on them. Like we made a great casserole last night. Now, that casserole just had mushrooms, had a little vegan cheese and it had uh, uh, different veggies in it, popped it in the oven, bam, everybody absolutely loved it. Yeah, you know what, especially with kids, kids are challenging, but there's a secret too with kids. You let kids go shopping with you, come up, you all look out, look, look over some recipes and let the kids pick recipe here, recipe there, simple recipes, and you all go shopping together and then you all prepare the meals together. Guess what, kids are weird. They'll eat it if they help, <laughs> if they help make it, they'll eat it. So it's, it's a strategy, but it works. And for those, grown-ups in the house that are so difficult. I just think, you know, everybody comes, they, they come along when they're ready to come along. You can't yell and scream and make people feel badly, but um, you, just, you, just, you just encourage as much as you can. But if you can get the kids on board, generally everybody else in the house will get on board too. It's a, that, that's a challenging one, it's very challenging because uh, people are usually eating emotionally and it's comforting to them and they just like what they like. But through education and it being a, a collective, a family collective, then I think you'd be able to, to get it going.
I love to keep, in terms of my spices, I love the Kirkland no salt seasoning. I get that from um, uh, Costco. So I always have Kirkland no salt seasoning. I keep cumin in the cabinet, smoky paprika. I'm a Bragg's liquid amino girl. That's how I pretty much salt uh, my savory food. I will use a little sea salt, however, in, in desserts. But um, for the most part, I'm using Bragg's liquid amino and I water that down because it's, it's pretty intense. Um, what else do I have to have? I have to have garlic. I must have paprika. Um, I love chipotle seasoning. And uh, those, are, those are some of the seasonings that are pretty much stable. I have to have those seasonings. I can pretty much do almost whatever I wanna do. I have to have vanilla, fla vanilla flavoring, almond flavoring, um, and in terms of veggies, I always keep zucchini, kale, um, cucumbers, carrots, tomato, uh, let's see, broccoli, and uh, let's see, what else do I keep in my cap? It's in the fridge. Um, well, those are pretty much the main things that, that, that we keep, red onion, uh, green onion, um, Porta mushrooms, criminy mushrooms, portobello mushrooms. You'd be amazed at how many different dishes you can make with those. I like tempeh, so I keep tempeh, especially for those cooked dishes. Now, if you're doing raw, that's a whole nother thing. I'd say start here, start slow, and uh, keep it simple, and just play. Because your tempeh is gonna sort of give you that, that texture like flesh, and, and you could play with that and season it up like you did your animal flesh, and, and you're not taken too far away from what you're used to. So you wanna keep that palate, you wanna remind that palate of what it's used to, and it just makes the whole transition easier. Like the first meal my husband prepared for me, it was sliced pan-grilled tofu, string beans, brown rice, basmati brown rice. It was the first time I ever had brown rice. Yeah, you wanna get you some wild rice and some brown rice too. Um, and he um, prepared this meal for me with a salad. I kept calling the tofu meat. I, it, the way he prepared it was just amazing. And so that's kind of what intrigued me because I thought this was really a very simple, tasty meal and it didn't have any real death on the plate. So that's what inspired me. So those are some of the items that I, I try to keep. Well, I believe that things have changed uh, enormously. When I come to a place like Texas, and I can go to, they've got a couple of Whole Foods, they've got Trader Joe's, they've got everything here that I have at home. When I go any place else, and I'm finding health food stores and all of this stuff, Columbus, Ohio, where my husband's family is from Columbus, I know people are, they're asking for this that's why it's available. So I'm really excited about the fact that even, let me tell you, I just came from, um, I just came from uh, Kenya. Health food stores in Kenya. So I found products in Kenya that I find at home in LA. So I know that things are changing. People are not feeling that great and they need a change and they're demanding a change. And at the rate of I don't, I don't want to be so down, but we have to change right now. We, we must make changes in, the way, in our lifestyles. Uh, our planet is going through a serious shift and um, we're beating up on the animals really, really badly. It's not nice. So we need to educate ourselves more and more and more and find that you don't have to kill to nourish yourself <laughs> because ultimately you win but you lose. You kill the animal, they ultimately kill you. So you're gonna have to change. And I believe it's happening because people wanna feel better. They wanna eat a meal and they don't wanna have to feel like they need to go stretch out and lay down. Or why should you have to take Tums after you have dinner? Or why should the doctor have to prescribe some drug for you to be able to digest your food? You should be eating a proper, properly combined meal that digests normally <laughs> on its own. Every other animal <laughs> on the planet 
said, every other species knows what to eat. They eat and they don't have indigestion. They don't have bad teeth and you know, you know they don't need a doctor to come and give them a Tums <laughs> to feel better after they've eaten. So the change is, is happening. Uh, it, it needs to speed up, but I'm just happy that it is, it's happening. It's going in the right direction.